The phoenix bird is a mythical creature, with a very long life, who burns to death and is reborn from its own ashes. She resembles an eagle, but with splendid feathers. Wrapped in mystery due to its exceptional destiny, transformed into a symbolic image of the rebirth, considered to originate from different places. She is presented in classical mythology in many guises, which multiply in the countless reinterpretations during the centuries in various cultures of the classical world. Except for a reference in one of the Hesiod's writings, where he wrote about her long life of 927 years, the first who speak about the phoenix is Herodotus. In his literary work, Histories, he gives a description and tells us about her unique life habits. The phoenix bird resembles the eagle in shape, but differs from it in its splendidly colored plumage, with spots of purple and gold, two noble colors and an obvious symbolic significance, which makes it more beautiful than the most wonderful peacock. She has an extraordinary longevity. The length of life attributed to the legendary bird varies, depending on the sources, from 500 to almost 13,000 years. The phoenix is the only one of her species and therefore cannot reproduce, originally from Arabia, but also found in particular cults in ancient Egypt. The most interesting legends refer to her reproduction. When her long life is over, and the bird feels her end is near, she makes a nest of branches of herbs and incense. According to some traditions, she sets on fire the nest she created, and afterwards she lays on the burning nest and another bird is created from her ashes. The new phoenix buries the previous one, placing its remains in an egg-shaped shell made from myrrh and incense, and taking them, with a procession of other birds flying around her, to the sanctuary at Heliopolis, where the priests of Helios, the sun god, will begin a solemn funeral rite. After this transient appearance in Egypt, the new young bird returns to Arabia, where she spends her long solitary life feeding on incense pearls, until she generates another specimen from her ashes. Herodotus and other Greek and Latin writers certainly knew, more or less directly, Egyptian sources about a similar animal, Bennu, sometimes reproduced on the bows of Egyptian ships, and related it to the daily cycle of the sun and the annual flood of the Nile. Astrologers, however, link the story of her long life to the theory of the sidereal revolution. It is certain that in ancient Egypt, the equivalent of the phoenix was related to the worship of the sun, as well as to the idea of regeneration and life, and that these characteristics are repeated in classical mythology. Attempts of the ancients to identify the phoenix from mythology with a real bird were unsuccessful. We know that in the time of Emperor Claudius, a so-called phoenix bird was captured in Egypt and shown in Rome, but the identification was received with skepticism. This was the story of the phoenix bird. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Mythos, the Historian. And if you really did enjoy it, please like the video. And if you look forward for new videos on my channel, please subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when new videos arrive.